Following the July signing of the MOU between Guyana and China for cooperation within the framework of the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road Initiative, there has been much criticism over the move, especially since the Belt and Road Initiative is seen globally as a debt trap for countries such as Ghana and Sri Lanka, where China in some cases ended up owning critical infrastructure, including major ports. The Guyana government has since been trying to allay fears of the country falling into such a situation. In fact, Minister Greenwich on Thursday reiterated that the MOU signed is merely an intention for cooperation and not a binding agreement. We um, are in receipt of all types of assistance from China long before Belt and Road long before the Belt and Road even appeared anywhere on the horizon, the International Conference Center, it hasn't left us uh, indebted to the, to the Chinese to the point of, uh, of uh, burying us. Nobody until you all started to make an issue of it ever bothered about that. And there are many other things that the Chinese have contributed to us. The loan or an MOU, the relevance of it is not the nationality. Emphasizing that the important factor is the terms of conditions of such arrangements, the Foreign Affairs Minister assured that the MOU will be released in due course. There is no damage done by not releasing the MOU because the M MOU is not an IOU. In other words, it is an intent and, and, and to for, for people to be suggesting that something secret is happening or that there are some commitments here with financial implications is just so ridiculous that I'm really not, I'm not, ex, ex, I'm not exercising my mind on that at this point in time. This MOU is expected to see enhanced cooperation between the two countries in five main areas such as policy coordination, facilities connectivity, trade and investment, financial integration and people-to-people -people interaction. Public infrastructure is also expected to be a major focus under this agreement. Reporting for Earth Evening News, Fanu Manakchand.